just reflecting from, you know, well, a couple of the million, million subscribers. It's absolutely, it's just, it's just a wild number. This is urgent. Caleb Hammer's editor, Brandon Gorey, is saying a bunch of really weird stuff on the internet. I'm just gonna watch it real quick. Always wear eye protection when you're dealing with people like this. Got a lot of comments calling me cringe and stuff, and I agree, this sunglasses thing at the desk is pretty cringe. This really fun, this fun eagle necklace that I got, also cringe, but it will never be as cringe as Caleb and Brandon and the content that they're posting. So what are we gonna watch today? We are gonna watch Caleb Hammer's editor, Brandon Gorey, do a few weird things. The first of which is on their podcast, which is now canceled. I'm gonna choose to believe that I may have been partially responsible. So Brandon's gonna do Russian propaganda, and then Brandon's gonna do something even worse than that. So stick around to the end if you wanna see that. They are currently talking about Tucker Carlson interviewing Vladimir Putin. Really let that one marinate for a second. It's weird. It's pretty weird. I think the Tucker Carlson Putin interview is yeah. a is a really good thing sorry, to talk about. Not even not a good um, thing to talk about optically, but like I think sorry, it's a good example because um, I think it, like it's not an ethereal sorry, I had to burp. ethics um, conversation. It's sure. a grounded sorry, I had to burp. thing. So the other person had an image of a sixteen year old. Sorry, I had to burp. Caleb took a screenshot of it, and then this other guy called him out in the in the group chat. He's like, "Why are you taking a picture of my sixteen year old friend?" Sorry, I had to burp. Caleb responds with, he's hot, or he hot, is gay, please. Is that is that what happened? Yes, that's correct. What is your guys' take on that? Like, because I personally, the way I read that, after just, again, maybe I'm consuming propaganda, and, like, I might have the wrong take, and I'm willing to acknowledge that. But when I saw that, I did not see a bastion of free speech going and interviewing somebody who has might have an opposing viewpoint. I immediately jumped to, this person is in the pocket of, like, you know, someone who is, like, killing thousands of people and like is going to cause the next world war. This is Noah. Noah works for Caleb. He's a new employee. He seems like a level-headed guy. Seems very normal. I personally do I don't think Noah's doing anything wrong. In fact, I think that Noah has a pretty good take here. My goal is to liberate Noah from the shackles of Caleb Hammer. Noah deserves a chance to make it in media. Uh, without Caleb's boot on his throat. So, Noah, if you're watching this, I'm here to help you, buddy. I'm here to help you. Let's see what they have to say about, you know, what seems like a good take from Noah. Take I didn't that. think in terms of the in-the-pocket thing. I just thought, like, this dude's going to get a bunch of eyes for this interview. You know, like, I mean, if I were Carlson, I mean, that's like, you know, he's about to get a lot of eyes and a lot of people to sign up to his new subscription service, whatever it's called. And I think he, he launched a new news thing, right? Yeah, I think now, he launched his own website, yeah. Yeah, I don't follow politics as much as I used to in the past, but, uh, I mean, it's probably a good business move. So, I mean, that's what I was figuring. It's a good business move, not taking any context into consideration. Maybe, you know, if you're Tucker Carlson, maybe it's not a good idea to uh, give Vladimir Putin a platform to speak. Caleb, got to use your brain a little bit. As much as I love Ukraine, I love Zelensky, I, I love how, how much ass they're able to kick in such a short amount of time. <clears throat> and having been to Ukraine myself in 2021, I got to see... Mm -hmm. They even before all this, since 2024, you'd see on all the federal buildings, all the state buildings, you'd see banners 30 foot long hanging across the tops, Slava Geroyim, Slava Ukraina. And so this is a big thing. It's, there's a lot of pride there. But what we don't know and what, what media is not telling us is that um, opposition to Zelensky was shut down. Uh, there's no free speech. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, it's not, it's not pushed, okay? You'll get people saying it on Reddit, you'll get like NPR saying it, but like, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that there's two sides to every coin and it's not going to be portrayed in the mainstream media. So what do I think of Tucker Carlson interviewing Putin? I think it's interesting. I think that Putin got elected for a reason. I mean, hear me out. I don't think that American elections are particularly um, democratic, right? But for Brandon Gorey to say that Putin was elected for a reason, that... <laughs> that is a crazy thing for you to say on the Weekend Workplace podcast with Predator Jen and Predator Caleb to your sides. I don't know, brother. <laughs> it's so bizarre. He's fantastic at speaking. So um, is it free speech? Is it, a, is it a practice of free speech? 100%. Is, can Putin lie through his teeth? Absolutely. We can't control that. And I think he's going to lie through his teeth. In fact, I think Russia's extremely well known for um, 
psychological warfare and language trolls um, online and have been for the last 20 years. Yeah. I am Conspiracy Dante. I was created by none other than Caleb Hammer uh, in this Reddit post right here. He calls Dante, non-conspiracy Dante, a conspiracy theorist. So that is Dante, right? The other one from before. He's not a conspiracy theorist. He doesn't do that. But this is conspiracy theory Dante, right? I have a tinfoil hat and, and stupid big sunglasses on. It's a character. So here I am to make up some conspiracies. Are we ready? We're gonna read some messages right now. These are from Glizzy McGuire on Discord. I'm in a mutual Discord server with them and it's Zeke's Discord server. That's all you gotta know. Who would have thunk idiot would have shown up to the party? Go sit in your goon cave and make another video, bud. Yeah, dude, this is what I do. And then I immediately respond immediately and i said sorry dude can't talk kind of busy which wasn't a lie and then he says immediately obviously because he's always on discord you aren't busy with your 1k subs on youtube no one gives up oh, okay that's a i'm not gonna read that and then he calls me three times i wasn't lying i was, i saw the notification i'm busy dude don't ever call anyone three times that is annoying and then later that night when i wasn't busy anymore i said sorry i missed the call i was busy busy i don't know just Having a good time with him, you know? I'm not busy right now, I'm, I'm chatting with my buddy. Says the guy living with, not gonna read that. You and, yep, not gonna read that either. And I said, damn, you're really harassing me. This isn't harassment, read a book. Now this is harassment. Me having your YouTube and socials mass reported. My people, the wheels are in motion. You won't miss 1K subs. You can actually have time to go touch grass. It'll be good for you. Is this grass? No, it's not grass. No, it's not grass. Is that no, no, it's not grass. Ow, fuck. Okay, that's a rock. That's a rock, it's not grass. Is that grass? Oh my God. Is this grass? No, well, fuck me, that's not grass. And then I didn't respond again because again, I'm busy. It's driving. Real quick, just editing this. And initially, I was gonna put conspiracy theory Dante right after that part, but uh, I don't think you're ready for the big reveal, the big conspiracy from Conspiracy Theory Dante. So I think I'm gonna wait until later in the video. You'll see him again, don't worry, it'll be all right. But Conspiracy Theory Dante isn't gonna go here, he's gonna go over there somewhere. I think that Putin got elected for a reason. Brandon, why are you doing Russian State Department propaganda? Why are you doing that? This is completely unrelated, what I'm about to show you, completely unrelated, but here is Brandon Gorey's LinkedIn account. He's a fashion editorial and commercial photographer. Cool. So it looks like Brandon went to UT at Austin, down the street, cool. He has a bachelor's degree. He studied Russian, Central European, European, East European, and Eurasian studies, okay. He says he has an extensive knowledge on Russia and its culture, as well as an understanding of Russia's global sphere of influence. I also understand and speak Russian at an advanced level. Okay. This doesn't mean anything. I'm not gonna go any further. Uh, it's bizarre that this is the case, though. Brandon, why do you like Russia so much? Why are you peddling Kremlin talking points on your podcast that you canceled? <laughs> okay, that's all, that's all not that big of a deal. This next part, this is why, this is why I sat down to record a video, because I promise you, I don't want to make any more videos about Caleb Hammer, but he just keeps, he keeps giving me content. I have to capitalize on this, I have to post. This vlog episode is called Caleb Stalin vs. Brandon Bin Lot. In this section of the vlog, Brandon and Noah are, looks like they're setting up a carpet in the podcast studio area uh, for the podcast that's now canceled. Brandon is trying his hardest to sound really smart for Noah. Starts out with Noah just having some fun. <laughs> Another thing you might notice about this scene is that, is that Noah's doing all the work and Caleb, as usual, is standing there, not helping, because Caleb is the monopoly man. Caleb, get a monocle and a top hat. Small business tyrant. Caleb is a small business tyrant. My ass hurts so bad. So bad. Make good choices. Or you'll burn in hell for eternity. Why? Here's Brandon popping up out of nowhere to ruin Noah's day. Is it, is it because I'm the Christian guy that it's immediately Sorry. dogmatic? <laughs> oh my god. Because there's gonna be Why? so many people who are like, do you know what are you talking no i'm gonna be they're gonna hate me nobody likes a christian i think they're gonna hate me nobody likes a christian brandon has a christian persecution complex it's cringe stop he lives in the united states of america we're one step away from a christian theocracy and he's saying that nobody likes christians okay okay brandon okay the study of natural sciences uh came from 
the premise that there was an order to the universe based on God's law. The basic premise of the universe is to establish that wow, there was an order to everything. <laughs> So you have like Copernicus, Galileo, Newton, who are all theologists as well as scientists. And the premise was, okay, if this world is created, then there must be a natural order that stems down infinitely small and infinitely great, and I want to discover what that is. So, no, I think science goes hand in hand with uh, Christian worldview. There's no uh, disagreement on what the gospel is missions and I would be able to tell you what the difference Oh my god dude he is so annoying brother Noah didn't ask for a god philosophy lesson I would never want to work with Brandon that would be insufferable to hear about at work but what's more insufferable to hear about at work is this next part it's the same vlog Noah who I'm convinced is baiting people for content for me to react to starts asking about where should I get a haircut you know he gets some advice on where to get the haircut but Brandon makes a really 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 weird comment about what type of haircut to ask for number two just like the whole way and it's like okay like I look really rough. I don't know. Um, that is rough. If, rough. if you asked for the Hitler Youth, you probably would have known what you were talking about. Ah! <laughs> uh, what? I'm recording. I was just gonna say this is kind of perfectly funny because. Boopy do scoop. What the fuck is Brandon doing? <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's watch that again. Two. Just like the whole way, and it's like okay, like. I look really rough. I don't know. Um, that is rough. If, rough. if you ask for the Hitler Youth- Ah! Dude, okay, okay, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Dante, don't be such a snowflake. It's a joke. Put your blue hair away. You're not a Twitter social justice warrior. I know all the comments are gonna say that because my videos only get pushed to Caleb Hammer fans and divorce dads. It's really unfortunate, but that's okay. It's just a joke, right? He's just telling a joke. That's pretty good. Yeah, no sleeping. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean- it's the Nazi. Can I get the Einsatz grouping? Okay, it's 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 just a joke. Don't freak out, Dante. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. I think that it's Putin got elected joke. for a reason. The pronunciation there wasn't really good. It's just a joke. Can I get the Einsatz grouping? Say again, it's just a joke. Oh. Stalin? Stop oh, Stalin and be my valentine. Bin Laden? That's fine. Okay, somebody referenced Joseph Stalin. Brandon is now playing a game. It's just a game he's playing with himself. Brandon's the only one who knows about it, and it's it's all in Brandon's head. And the game is called Try Not to Tell Anybody That Stalin Was Worse Than Hitler. In case you don't know, this is the most difficult game for Brandon and people like him. The difficulty level is set up to 25,000. They're trying so hard to bite their tongue because they know that, you know, when you get in public and you say this kind of stuff, normal people are going to be like, what are you talking about, brother? Let's see if he says it. <laughs> Yo, Stalin like killed this. so many more people than Hitler. Mao Zedong, 100 million. Okay, so he did it. And like, like Hitler pales in comparison. Terrible guy, but like, there are so many worse dictators in the 20th you know century. Why? Hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, I, I had a joke right here, but it didn't quite satiate uh, the need to emphasize the fact that he just said the words uh, pales in comparison. Those are strong words. He pales in comparison. Pales in comparison. Right, Hugo Boss? Yeah. They looked good as they were committing mass genocide. Yeah. They, Maybe we gotta cut all this they were, Well, I, I believe I could be totally wrong, but uh, the Dossler brothers, Adi Dossler. And if you look at the other editor that works with Brandon, he looks petrified right now because what Brandon just said is a fucking crazy thing to say. I'm not here to defend Joseph Stalin or Mao or any dictator ever. I think all dictators are bad. However, going out of your way unprompted to say that Stalin was way worse than Hitler and then be like, kind of weirdly uh, excited to talk about the design of their military uniforms um, is bizarre. It's a bizarre, chain of events high fashion a lot of it came out of germany yeah <laughs> in the early we should make a time machine to give them this advice early 20th century I what advice say. would you give them i know just amplify they... your branding before <laughs> caleb you're talking about this. giving advice to mao zedong and, please and, cut uh, this i'm done with this conversation he asked for it to be cut didn't get cut i don't know if that was a joke but Interesting. No, so I'll get back to work. work. Look at how, look at Brandon's face here, dude. He's so uncomfortable because he knows 
that that was a weird thing to say. And the weirder part is that it went in the final vlog. I don't know who edits the vlogs, but whoever edits the vlogs is doing a horrible job. Maybe a great job. It, it, it depends. It depends who's editing the vlog. If it's Caleb or Brandon, bad job. But if like Noah's editing the vlogs and he's doing this to give me content to react to, Bravo, great job. Bro, um, no, 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 fun fact. Fun fact. She is terrified, as you should. If I was at my nine to five and I soft defended the mustache man like Brandon did, I would be fired. Normal jobs would fire you for that. I would be absolutely petrified to be working with Brandon. Clara, I'm here to liberate you. I'm here to save you from the shackles of Caleb Hammer. Getting a, back, a black person to beg dang black history month is why. I'm just saying. I'm messing with you. Oh my God. God. Uh, it's so uncomfortable. Right here, right there. I think now you're ready. Larissa's pieces, gods, are telling me it's time. It's time for you to hear my, sorry, conspiracy Dante's big old conspiracy theory about who, who, who the Discord messages are from. Ooh. So you know how you just said? Extremely well known for, um, psychological warfare and language trolls um, online and have been for the last 20 years. Conspiracy Dante is a character and it, he just says stuff, right? So none of this it matters, none of this means anything. But Conspiracy Dante thinks that Brandon or somebody attached to Brandon, I think it's Brandon. I think Brandon is the one who's a good internet troll, right? And Brandon's probably in some weird communities online. I, I don't know, it's just what Conspiracy Dante thinks. Crazy Conspiracy Dante. So I just recorded this whole video, got all of the footage into the editing software and I noticed something. I noticed that Caleb changed the name of the podcast channel and unlisted all of the podcast episodes. Don't worry guys, I downloaded all the episodes. We're gonna archive this. I'm out here in Joshua Tree and I am looking for cell phone service. There's no, I, I don't have any service. We're way out here. And I need to read my YouTube comments because I'm obsessed. Oh, there's a little, fuck yeah. Okay, let me screenshot. There we go. Yeah. Yes. I got service. I got some. Yes. 